Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another live swatching video. Guess what we're live swatching today? <laughs> I'm so excited. Today we are live swatching the ColourPop Cosmetics Villains Collection, which can I just say that when ColourPop Cosmetics came out with the Disney Princess Collection, I said in that video there needs to be a Disney Villains Collection. I am way more interested in that over the Disney Princesses. I said that and then voila. Oh my gosh. Can I also say that I've known about this collection for a while because when I visited ColourPop, when I did my swatch party video with them they were like just chilling naming all the products and I was like what is this for and then they told me and I was like are you kidding me so I have been so excited for this and it's been so hard not to mention it or bring it up or tell you guys about it because I've known for so long so anyway a little brag there no big deal now this collection is huge we have a lot to go over you guys might want to grab a snack grab a drink we're gonna be here a while I mean look at it it's huge okay so I think for this I just want to go like little family by family so I think I'd like to start with like all of Dr. Facility move on to the evil queen then we'll do Hades and Ursula and all those you know? right away strictly speaking of packaging I love the packaging I love how all of the names are kind of like in these like neon signs you know those light bulb signs what are those called I don't know <laughs> I think that's really pretty I like the color scheme of the packaging for each villain so we're gonna start with Dr. Facilier so first starting with Dr. Facilier's lipstick it's just namely called Dr. Facilier which I love I love the packaging and he is one of my favorite villains this I love more than anything a lot of times with ColourPop collabs even though the collab is special the packaging sometimes not always but sometimes it's in their standard for example Lux lipstick package but this is a beautiful matte packaging. It has this chrome metallic um, slightly foiled. It's not shiny, but slightly foiled uh, designs on here. Here is the shade Dr. Facilier. Let's throw it on. Oh, in case you wanted to see, it does have a villain's imprint on the actual lipstick there. Oh, so creamy. I love this color. This is such a beautiful, rich, wearable color. Not too light, nothing like that. It'll fit everyone. It's going to look different on everyone, but it should match everybody. Everyone should be able to wear a lipstick like this. It's more warm, almost bricky, with like a dash of mauve in there. Am I just throwing that mauve in there myself? I don't know. But there is the Dr. Facilier Cream Lipstick. Next, we're gonna try the Ultra Glossy Lip. This is in the shade Shadow Man. Oh my goodness, this packaging. I love the holographic print on there and the lip itself looks like it might be not straight up hollow but definitely a little color shifting that is cool oh wow mm, I love this this is so unique and different wow 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 okay I was reading comments that people thought this collection was not unique enough and of course this is only the second product that I've tried but this is uber unique if you love your unique kind of different grungy dingy interesting lip colors or colors in general like I do pick this up just even to collect it if you're a collector like I am because this is the coolest lip color ever. I am obsessed. So far, Shadow Man is definitely my favorite product of all time. Next up is the Jelly Much Eyeshadow. This is in the shade Not Today. I love the packaging and this looks like a beautiful green. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. Not only is it green, but I see like flecks of possibly bronze or orange glitter in there. I am so excited to throw this on. Just so you know, for these Jelly Much eyeshadows and the Super Shocks, I prefer to use my Sigma Cream Color E58 brush. They are so perfect with your fingers and that's all you have to use if you can. My nails are just a little too long that I can't like get in there well. So just wanted to throw that out there. Okay fam, it's happening. Here we go. Ah, oh, I was right. Oh my goodness. I almost wish that, I mean it makes sense why it has orange glitters I think it would be cool if it also had purple glitters in it but it's really really pretty it's such a shame that St. Patty's Day just passed because this would have been a really cool shadow to have for it lastly we're doing the super shock highlighter this is in the shade meet me on the other side oh my gosh Yes. Oh, definitely more in like the orangey golden family, which I think works really well for Dr. Facilier. Okay, let's throw. Oh, yeah, it is. It's definitely like a peachy bronzy. And again, this is a super shock cheek. It's cool to see it in like a flap. So you don't need to use a brush, but I just always love using brushes, especially during live swatches because I'm trying on so many things I don't like to get super dirty. Oh, that has a really nice shine. This is my FO3 highlighter brush from Sigma. I love it definitely peachy a little would I even say orangey or just peachy I think just peachy and a little golden yeah definitely they're beautiful though this is gonna look so good on so many medium to tan to deep toned skinned beauties so that is Dr. Facilier's super shock cheek highlighter 
It is gorgeous, and these are all the products together, minus the lipstick, but you guys get the idea. Imagine this just with the lip color. I like his collection. I think it's unique. I think it's different. I think it's outside the box, and I think you could definitely make them work within your makeup routine. So I love Dr. Facilier's collection. So now we're getting into the Evil Queen's collection. I love her packaging. Again, I think the lighting like effect is just really cool. Her lipstick is a matte formula, and of course it's a beautiful apple red, and this is called Evil Queen. Love it. A true apple red. Oh, this is such a succulent, delicious red lip. I am just like, you cannot, ah, I'm just a diehard red lip fan, so like it's super easy to impress me with red lips, I can't lie to you, but this being a matte formula like makes it like yes for me. Next we are doing the glossy lip and this is called Bad Apple. I love that shade name. Oh, pretty. This is sheerer than I thought it was gonna be, but I like that. I love glosses like this because even though it's sheer, it really does give us that glossy candy apple type of finish, not necessarily color, but your lips look glossy and like candy to me. I don't know why I think of that. Next we're doing the Jelly Much eyeshadow in the shade Cursed. This looks gorgeous. Taking my Sigma Beauty Cream Color E58 brush again. Ooh, super high shine, metallic, light yellow gold amazingness. This one has like a ton of micro glitter in it that really just makes it look like glued loose glitter all over the lid. It is really cool. Next we are doing the Evil Queen highlighter and this is in the shade Fairest of All. And again, I know you've seen the packaging by now, but I'm just kind of crazy about it. Taking my FO3 Sigma highlighter brush again. This one's super golden. Wow, super gold. Not even gold, I guess more of a pale yellow. Again, this one I think is gonna be really great from medium to tan to deeper skin tones if you prefer a more yellow, goldy type of highlighter. It's a less yellow version of Fenty Beauty's Trophy Wife, but like think in that, you know, area. Like that, it's in that realm of a golden highlighter. It's pretty though. Now we're getting into the Ursula collection. This is a good one. We're gonna first do the lip gloss this time. This one's called Sad But True, which is just iconic. See how it's kind of blue? I see it a little bit. I don't think it's anything the general public would notice, <laughs> but it's a little milky. You see it a little bit. So yeah, there is Sad But True. It's just a light sheer gloss. I don't think you really need to have this one, but I'm excited to see what it looks like on top of the lipstick. Oh yes, such a dark, just evil lip color for Ursula. This is called Ursula and I believe it is a matte formula. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm hmm I'm feeling evil. It's amazing. Oh, yeah, baby. I mean, let's be honest. We all have an evil little deep <laughs> lip color like this one, and we love them all so very much. I think a lot of this collection is going to come down to if you're a diehard Disney fan, if you're a villains fan, if you love all things evil like I do, then I would say, like, get it. Because I'm one of those people, and I love the packaging, and I just love limited edition stuff. But chances are you probably have a shade just like this one. For shits and gigs, I'd love to just go ahead and apply Sad But True on top of this lip and see, you know, what the fuck happens. Ooh, there's that blue. I'm hoping you guys are gonna be able to see this on camera because I can really see the blue in person. It's not super bold, but when I move around, I do see a blue reflection. So that is super interesting. That's what they look like layered together. Next, we're gonna do Ursula's Jelly Much Eyeshadow. This is in the shade Just Your Voice. Like, ah, it's so creepy! Ooh, I love the jelly eyeshadows so much, you guys. They are so beautiful. I feel this way in like every collection. If they come out with the Jelly Much shadows, at least grab those, because look at that quick, insane glam. Like, you would think I threw down some glitter glue, some concealer, like a wet brush, things like that to get this type of impact. And it's just such a statement like that. I don't think I ended up showing you Ursula's packaging, but it's gorgeous. I especially love these waves and her tentacles. It looks amazing. Next, we're gonna do the highlighter. The highlighter is called Poor Unfortunate Souls, which is just like everything. Oh, wow. Super lavender amazingness. I love it for looks, like creating beautiful tutorials, but oftentimes when I do my most amazing and unique tutorials, I don't necessarily wear those outside of the house, you know what I mean? They be calling the cops on my wacky ass. So, you know, that's that. This is the highlighter, very lavender. Now we're getting into Maleficent's collection, which I also think looks gorgeous. I love this packaging. I feel like a lot of people were really confused on her collection, but I get it. She's like 
in the thorns and like I get what they're going for with Maleficent. I do. Since this gloss is also a little more sheer, I want to start with it, then do the lipstick and then put the gloss on top of it. This shade is called My Pet. Oh, that's pretty. Very sheer, but definitely a purple sheen to it. So there we have My Pet. It's cute. It's got a purple sheen. But it's very simple. Next, we'll do the lipstick, which is called Maleficent, and this is a cream formula. This is a cream formula, but it doesn't have like a sheen to it. Not a real apparent sheen anyway, and I really like that about it. Now adding the lip gloss on top. That again, it doesn't make a huge difference, but it does add kind of like the glitter on top of it. So I see, obviously it gives it more of a glossy finish now, but there is also little bits of glitter on top, which is cute. Now we're moving on to the jelly eyeshadow. This shade is called Spindle. Oh, very pretty purple. I love these jelly shadows. The jelly shadows have probably been my favorite thing so far in the collection. This looks mostly purple, but it does have kind of like a very pale gold kind of champagne flip to it at certain spots. It's it's cute. And then lastly, doing Maleficent's highlighter. I love the front of this and I love the back how it still has those flowers on there. This is called Mistress of All Evil. And this one looks most up my alley. Pretty. I always love the super shock cheeks. They could honestly give me a thousand colors that look the same and I'll still love them all <laughs> so much. So that's it for Maleficent's collection, you guys. Let me know what you think. It's super fun and I get the flow of it. I can see how, if any of them so far, this one would be the least evil looking collection. I think the colors are beautiful on their own, but they aren't the most evil colors, let's be real. So next we're getting into my least favorite villain of all the villains, Cruella de Vil. I hate Cruella de Vil. I mean, how can you not? Anyone who wants to... I can't even say... I can't even watch 101 Dalmatians. I used to have nightmares of it as a child. I cannot stomach that movie, and I can't stomach this villain, so I don't even want to wear her collection, but I will. Well, this has just fucked me up. The lip gloss name is called Puppies! With exclamation points, and it makes me sick. Ah. Yeah. That's pretty. I don't know why I really like this one. It's not super unique, but it's like a light, sheer champagne with golden glitters in it, and I think it's really pretty. Stupid Cruella. Next, we're going to do the Cruella lipstick, and this, of course, is a red. And this is a cream formula, if you're curious. Oh, it almost has like a bit of an orange. It's definitely just more of a fiery, brighter red, not so blue-based. Oh, it's a beautiful red. We all have a red like this. It definitely has more orange in it, and that's why I love it. Now let's pop the gloss on top. Yeah, again, just makes it super glossy, and then you can kind of see the little gold glitters again. Next, we're doing Corella's Jelly Eyeshadow. This is in the shade Perfectly Wretched. Oh, I love it. Such a bright, bright champagne. Just glowing, people. See, this color story, again, feels super Cruella to me. I feel like when people saw the images of the collection before they saw the products, they are at least face-to-face, -face, like in person. People were like, this isn't evil. I saw someone's comment that said, this could be a spring collection and you would fool me. And I'm like, yes, there are brighter, funner colors, but I have to say, when you really think about each villain, there are these colors do tie to their color story, them as characters. Corella, like, as gross as she was, tried to be super, you know, da, 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 and this just looks so glam. This is exactly, like, what we would see Corella wearing. So for me, it totally makes sense. So now we're doing Corella's highlighter. It is so bright that I feel like my camera's just picking up very white tones. This is called You Idiots, You Fools, You Imbeciles, which is, I mean, again, the shade names are so iconic. This one is super, super light. Looks to have a little uh, yellow or possibly even a peachy sheen to it. I don't know yet. Oh, this is gorgeous. This is my favorite. It definitely has this beautiful, light, yummy, peachy look to it. I love this one. Okay, you guys, the last villain we're going to do before we get to the big eyeshadow palette, which, God help me, it's 8 p.m. We're leaving to do our engagement photos. Uh, this is like the last thing I should be doing before a major photo shoot. Not a major photo shoot, but it's like, you know, it's major to me. So the very last one we are doing is Hades, and this one I will say, I think this one had the most ruffled feathers as to why it's so 
orange and kind of red and like warm tone themed and I see both sides. I could see how the Hades collection could have had such iconic blues, like such amazing blues. At the same time, he is a hothead. You know, his head lights up at the fire and all that stuff. So I get it because he's Hades, fire, hello, hell, gross. I get why it's kind of more orange themed, but I also understand everyone's frustration with how like cool and blue they could have made everything. This is so funny. This shade name is hot headed and I already called him a hothead and I didn't even read the shade name yet so that's funny. Oh I love this. This is cute. This actually like it goes on orange and then it kind of flips to pink. This would probably be my most favorite gloss out of the entire collection. Now we have the shade Hades lipstick. This is a cream formula and it looks like a peachy nude. I love this color. I can see why people would be pissed because it's not very fiery. I mean, they could have at least done like a bright orange or something, but I really like this color. Like, what can I say? It's a beautiful PG nude. I love this. Now we're gonna get into the jelly shadow for Hades. This shade is called I Own You. It's pretty, it's a little more pink than I was expecting. I will say I love how they look together. That's why I love these live swatches because we can actually see how things are gonna go together and I think it helps you guys envision the collection better. If this makes sense as like a cherry pink. It's not quite red, it's not quite pink. They're kind of fused together. Lastly, of course, we have the Hades highlighter. This one is called Everybody's Got a Weakness. That's a really good name for him and you can see it's a little more yellowy but I see some peach in there too I think I would say this one's a more toned down a more mild version of Cruella's highlighter Cruella's highlighter I felt it has very similar tones but it's a higher flash it's a higher highlight it's brighter you guys that's it for all of the villains now we're gonna get onto the big eyeshadow palette which I'm so afraid to do because my eyes already hurt but it's totally okay I'm excited uh so let me know what your favorite collection was out of just the villains at least um what did you pick up if any are you skipping are you gonna grab something did you already grab something because remember this did already launch also I wanted to remind you guys I do have a five dollar off discount code just for this month it's gonna be gone at the end of the month which is in just a few days I'm not precisely sure it will work on the villains collection but I think it's now working on the past like spring collection when it wasn't working before I think because there's another newer collection now it's working on the sweet talk palette in the, that collection so my discount code is five Shay for five dollars off of your twenty dollar purchase it is an affiliate code so do not use that if you don't feel comfortable that is totally fine but I did want to let you guys know I have that for just a short while just a few more days so bear that in mind um I'm gonna remove all this and we'll move on to the eyeshadow okay so now we're finally getting into the eyeshadow palette this is the misunderstood eyeshadow palette I love that name I love the packaging and I will be honest with you guys when I saw this online I was not impressed with the shadows whatsoever I was like that's kind of a letdown then I got in person and it's amazing I'm so excited about it it's so chunky glittery amazingness with a few uh like dingy grungy mattes which you guys know I love so this like has my name all over it we're just gonna go ahead and get started so the very first shade is called no spots and this is a pure white of course oh I just realized there's no mirror that's a bummer ah yes super duper duper white not much to say about this one but I love it for the Disney palette because you know you want to get creative you want to create some fun looks and a white will just always assist with that of course but it's like nothing to even go on about because it's just a white shadow so there is the shade no spots the next shade we're gonna try is called mongrels super shimmery Oh, metallic even on a dry brush. I actually almost feel like this one, so these shimmers really look like they'd be great applied with your fingers. Oh yeah, keep that in mind. It's kind of one of those chunkier shimmery shades where I think, you know, using a firmer applicator such as your finger is going to make a difference, especially if you're just applying it dry. Of course, if you're applying it with a wet brush, you know, that's probably best for like a sleek metallic look. But if you're just popping it on a shadow base like I have here, I think your finger would be excellent. So there is the shade Mongrels with a dry finger. And now I will do another layer with a wet brush so you guys can see both. Oh yeah, super metallic now. Actually quite similar to Corella DeVille's uh, Jelly Eyeshadow just like in a powdered form. I love this color all over the lid. So there again is Mongrels. Now we're going into the shade Diablo, which looks like a beautiful green. Again, applying this with a dry brush first. Oh, that's pretty. It's an awesome kind of like chartreuse -y lime green. Ooh, and almost like a, just a fresh grass green. It's 
pretty. I don't think we've seen this color, this exact one from ColourPop before. Again, we're gonna go ahead and apply it with a wet brush so you can see both. Ooh, much more sleek, much more electric and chromey and like bright. That just made it like super awesome, super chromed out. So there is a shade Diablo. Next, we're going into the shade Devious, which is a matte brown. Ooh, super pretty. Almost like a muted terracotta color. Cause it's not orange, it's not brown, but it's a mixture between both. And I feel like there's a little beige in the shade. Ah. Oh. I love this color. You cannot go wrong with the ColourPop shadows. Oh my God, it's so gorgeous. So there is the shade Devious. Next, we're going into the shade Tragic. This of course just, ooh, I was gonna say just looks like a nude, which of course it is, but it's definitely more beigey and a little richer than I thought it was before. Oh, it's cute. I would just love this color all over the lid with a pair of lashes. You guys know I'm all about that one eyeshadow look. This is my favorite shade so far. I know it's simple, but it's the most beautiful, like a beigey shade I've ever seen. I need this in my transition space on my wedding day. This again is a shade tragic and it is anything but tragic to me. It's beautiful. The next shade we are trying is Underworld. Of course, starting off with a dry brush. Oh, I didn't think this would be so orangey bronzy. I don't know why, but it is, or I guess more coppery. The shade name would be copper. I'm sorry, you guys, it is 9.30 and I'm exhausted. It's been a long day. So I'm sorry if my brain's not all here at this point, but this is a beautiful color. So pigmented, oh, very rich, so smooth. And with a dry brush, God bless, I love that. So there is Underworld again with a dry brush. Now let's try it with a wet brush. Wow. So again, it foiled it beautifully. It hasn't changed the color, obviously, um, but it definitely made it a lot smoother, a lot more foiled, uh, as you guys know it would, but I know a lot of you like to see it applied both wet and dry, so I'm sorry if I sound repetitive, but I know it's just something a lot of you have requested that I start doing, so I'm trying to do that for you guys, and there is Underworld. This next shade I've been like the most excited for for some reason, this one here is called Pain and Panic. I think maybe because it's a little dingy, grimy looking, but it's had me super stoked. Oh, this is beautiful. It looks like fire embers. I think this is gonna be another one you guys are definitely going to want to pick up with your finger. Yeah, there's like a grittiness to this. See, look at that difference. With your finger, it's all the difference. This definitely reminds me of just flames flickering. It's so interesting because in some lights, it's like a chartreuse green, but then when I look directly in my mirror, it's bright orange. So this one is a curveball and it's unique and it's exactly what I wanted from this collection and I'm so glad that they have it. I'm crazy about this color. So here is Paint and Panic with a dry brush. Okay, I've now wet the brush. I almost don't know if a wet brush would make this one any better because it was so amazing on its own. Oh, that's cool. I mean, it just, again, just smooths it over, just foils it. I love it both ways, but I think I much preferred it the gritty way. I'm not sure why. So there is Paint and Panic with a wet brush. Ooh, getting to the purple. This one is called Forest of Thrones. No, Forest of Thorns. Oh my goodness. Ooh, that's a pretty purple. I don't know why I thought it wasn't gonna be this rich. I thought there wouldn't be this much depth to the purple, but it's really beautiful. Uh, so I think just like this is perfect. Just use a tacky base and it is gorgeous. So there's the shade Forest of Thorns. The next shade we we're swatching is Flotsam. Oh, this is kind of like a pretty metallic pinky nude. This one I think is super pretty and kind of interesting because it kind of has a blue sheen to it that you can just hardly pick up on in person. Well, in person I see it really well, but I feel like the camera doesn't show it as well. It's really cool. I will say that much. It is super, super cool. Next shade is called The Fates. It's a beautiful deep navy blue. Gorgeous, this is beautiful. I'm not going to even attempt to blend this, you guys. If you follow me on Twitter, you know the deal. Uh, Alok and I should have already left for a weekend getaway. We're having our engagement photos done, as I've said a thousand times. We have to go there. He was so sweet to let us like delay what time we leave so I could get this video filmed and up for you guys since my PR box came extremely late and I didn't wanna let you guys down. So if I had the time to like blend this out right now with other colors, you know that I would and I'm so sorry that I can't, but I have to go. <laughs> I'm so late, but I want to finish this for you guys. But dang, that is beautiful. It is deep, it is rich, and it is everything. The Fates is a beautiful blue. The next shade we are trying is called Revenge. I can't tell if this is a metallic or a more matte shadow with little glitter flecks in it. I think that is what it is. Yeah, it's more of a matte with glitter than it is uh, a satin with glitter. 
if you will. Wow, this is gorgeous. It looks like the starry night sky. It is beautiful though. I really like this color. So there is the shade Revenge. The next shade we are trying is called Sing. Oh God, so much fallout. Not on my Ariana Grande hoodie. I picked up way too much that time. I'm like, stop, please don't fall on my sweatshirt. This is a beautiful, super shimmery burgundy. Oh my goodness, you guys, be careful with this one. That had so much fallout, but it could have been me picking up way too much pigment. But damn, that is beautiful. I look like such a mess, you guys. I need to go. I hate not looking okay in my live swatching videos. I try to make everything look so perfect, but now you see how hard it is when I have zero, zero time to do these videos. So this is the shade Sing. I love it. You know that I do. The next shade we are live swatching is Jetsam. Ooh, this one would be beautiful in the center of that deep, delicious blue. What color was that? The Fates. It would look super cool with the Fates. Ah. Oh. Gosh, I love this blue. Something's like really unique to me about it. And it's so just metallic on its own. I don't even think it needs a wet brush. I love it. This actually, I might prefer this blue over the Fates because it's a little more unique to me. I love it either way. So there is Jetsam. The last Shimmer Shimmer shade, this is called Facil. Who is your guys' favorite evil person of Disney. I would love to know that. Oh, this one has a crazy amount of fallout, so beware of that. Oh, but it's worth it. Look at that green. You know I love that. But make sure you hardly dip in your brush or else it's going to be too, 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 too much. It's a very delicate, fragile shadow, which again is why I don't want to wet it. I don't know that you should, but dang, is it amazing on its own. That is beautiful. So again, there is Facile. Last but not least, we have the shade 101. And this looks like just a matte deep charcoal. I wouldn't say it's quite a black or is it? Maybe it is. I was gonna say it looks like a charcoal, but the more I layer it on, it is more black, I think. I can't tell. It's really late, I'm really tired. And it is a matte and I'm going to stop there because if I go anymore, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cry. Oh my gosh, you guys. That is it for the eyeshadow palette. I'm sorry I had to rush through the last few shades. I wish I didn't have to, but it was really nice and kind of a look to let us put off our plans so that I could try and get this video up to you. I'm sorry, my eyes feel like they're going to fall off of my face right now they're burning so bad because oh why am I talking so much I usually give my eyes time to chill between each swatch but I haven't had any time to chill so I'm so sorry last two things and then we're out there are two glitter obsessed but glitterly obsessed body glitters the first one is anomaly and is blue she is blue and she is cool. I tried to rhyme blue and cool and it didn't really work. I don't know what the hell to do with these right now, so this is what we're doing. Welcome to live swatching, baby. Sometimes we put shit where it don't belong. Oh, that's pretty. This is so festival vibes. Look at that. I know I look dumb as shit right now, but can you just look at the colors? Imagine it's not on my face. It's beautiful. The other shade is called Do I Look Like I Care? And it looks like super disco ball-y. Yeah, it's like kind of gray, kind of lavender. This one I don't love. I'm Okay, so I love the shades of the glitter. I don't love the underlying kind of gray shade on me. I'm like as if I'm gonna wear this around. It's fun. This one's my favorite though. With that blue, it is beautiful. You guys. This is it of the Disney, I'm like losing my mind right now. What did you guys think of this collection? Let me know your thoughts down below. Again, I'm sorry if this live swatching video got terrible in the last few minutes. I'm out of time, but I hope you can appreciate the effort I applied to try and get this up for you guys. I just got this PR box a few hours ago, hours before we're supposed to be leaving, and I did everything in my power to get it up for you guys still. So I hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget I do have that ColourPop discount code. I don't know that it's going to work on this stuff, but hey, give it a shot. Just so you know, let me know what you're going to be picking up and let me know what you're going to be skipping on. And as always, I love you guys. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Bye!